We continue to track showers and thunderstorms that are moving through the area. We have a new update just in from a few moments ago, a brand new severe thunderstorm warning that's in effect just to the south and west of Atlanta. If you were with us a little bit earlier, we were talking about the severe thunderstorm warnings that were in effect along the Georgia Alabama line. Those expired at 515, but now we have a new severe thunderstorm warning right here with this cluster of storms coming out of Carroll County, moving into Coweta County. And you can see this is what we're watching right here with that area of rain and storms moving over to the east at about 45 miles an hour. This is the latest warning that we have for the eastern parts of Carroll County. We have the northern parts of Coweta County involved with this. Also, Douglas County roughly along I-20 and southward, and then the far southwestern part of Fulton County there near Fairburn. This is where we have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect. This is the same part of the storm that had rotation with it back in Alabama, where we broke in earlier to Dr. Phil, where we had a tornado warning that was in effect just over the line into Randolph County. This is part of that same system that does have a history of producing some rotation. So we're keeping a really close eye on this right now as it continues moving over to the east into parts of Douglas County, South Fulton County, and into the northern parts of Coweta County as well. I want to take you live right now to our storm tracker thunder truck uh, out I 20 headed west toward the Douglas County area and you can see the traffic, the rain. It looks like the windshield wipers are on high speed right there uh, with that rain that is coming down. This again is out I 20 west. I'm trying to see what this exit is right here. Uh, that's right there at exit. Oh, I just missed a sign. It, we're seeing right there at exit 47. That's where we get to uh, Six Flags Parkway and Six Flags Park. So that's right close to the Fulton line, South Cobb line, pushing into Douglas County. So Storm Tracker Thunder Truck is actually headed toward that heaviest rain. We'll keep checking in on that too. Back to uh, the maps. You can see those storms that we were watching really impressive coming out of Alabama now into West Georgia, where again we have a tornado watch that is also in effect uh, in our area as well. Let's get to Nicole Hartford been keeping an eye on that tornado watch as well as those risks that continue for tonight. Yes, that tornado watch remains in effect until 9 o'clock this evening and encompasses a large portion of North Georgia that does include the Atlanta metro area. These storms that we're watching right now, these are storms that could prompt rotation and therefore tornadoes. Isolated tornadoes are certainly possible. It's not the only mode of severe weather we're watching out for, though. We are included in that level one to level two risk. Most of us under the level two slight threat through sunrise tomorrow morning. So we're going to be looking out for storms that could potentially create some very heavy rainfall that could lead to minor flooding as well as strong, potentially damaging winds in addition to that isolated tornado risk. As far as which one is the highest, it's definitely the heaviest rainfall. More of us are anticipated to see the very heavy rainfall. Our damaging winds threat is moderate and then our tornado threat is low. Hail risk, not nearly as high. That is the very low category across North Georgia. So, Chris, you're going to break it down hour by hour. Yeah, and you know, Nicole mentioned that convective outlook showing that level two risk through tomorrow morning. That's because we have another round coming tonight. This is round one moving through our area right now. We will see a break for part of the evening hour, still dealing with some scattered showers, but that heaviest rain and that severe threat moves on over to the east. And then overnight tonight, that's when the next round comes in. This is at 2. 30 in the morning, another round coming in overnight and into tomorrow morning. Chesley and Andrew will be in with you early tomorrow morning, tracking this as it moves through. This also has the potential for some severe weather with that. We think once we get to the afternoon hours tomorrow, that storm risk is going to be out of here. The rain will be gone and we'll start to see the cooler air starting to move in. So here's what we're watching with that seven day outlook. Uh, decreasing clouds Thursday, high of 60. Cooler air Friday and Saturday, highs in the 50s. Friday back to the 60s on Saturday after morning lows in the 30s and then holding in the 50s uh, for the second half of the weekend and next week with a 20 to 30 percent chance for showers Sunday into Monday.